Aujourd'hui, c'est vendredi le 16 décembre. Today, we'll practice our vocabulary and questions for our leisure activities. So, we will dedicate the entire period, again, to studying your vocabulary, learning how to ask questions, and how to answer them. Your first step. You will get a billet d'entrée. Take out your purple note sheets, the one that's stapled, and the one that we did last. Put your name on your paper. Today's date is Le 16 décembre. We are going to practice again how to ask, do you like? So you are going to ask the following questions in French. You may use your notes. You may not work with a partner. You should easily be able to come up with the answers using your notes by yourself. So on this line here, I want you to write the question in French. What do you like to do? Write this in French here. Do you like to swim? I want you to write this question in French on this line. Do you prefer to do homework or study? The word for or is ou, O-U. Write that right here. Do you like to send Snapchats or send text? Write this exact thing in French on this line. Or, remember, is OU, O-U. Do you like to do yard work or cook? Put that in French on the line here. The word for OR again is OU, O-U. When you are done with that, you're going to come up with three of your own questions using the question starter suggestions below. Do not repeat questions, question starters, or activities. So come up with, do you like to do this or to do this? Remember, or is ou, o you. Do you like to do this or this? You have to ask, do you like one way here and a different way here? So two different ways to ask, do you like four different activities here? Do you prefer two other activities. So you'll have six different activities total. They have to be six different activities and we're here. You cannot use any of these that were up here. So you have all these activities plus six new ones here. When you are done with that, then you turn your paper over and you can read and sit quietly. If you cannot sit quietly, then put your head down so that you can. Now we are going to study our flashcards. You are going to turn your chair around and you're going to make a group of four. Do not move your desk. So if you are in the inside squares, you're just going to turn your chair around and join the pair behind you. And you're going to get a set of flashcards. They're going to be equally divided among the groups. There's about 50 flashcards. So you have a set of vocab cards. The tallest person will start asking. You're going to ask from French to English. That should be fairly easy for everybody. You can take turns asking each member of the group. You can ask all at the same time. The only requirement is, is that you are fully engaged in studying your vocabulary cards. Only when the teacher says, pass them, hand them to the group behind you. The teacher will tell you which group to hand them to and you will hand them to that same group every time the teacher says to. The person to the left of the tallest person will ask the group next. You will pass when the teacher tells you after you have gone through all the sets of the cards. You will then switch it and go from English to French. That will be more challenging and that is okay, but you still need to be fully engaged and studying your vocabulary. If you are not fully engaged studying your vocabulary, then you can take your purple sheets and you can make a new study sheet, French to English, by yourself with all of those. That will be your alternative activity. You can sit by yourself against the wall and do that. You are going to continue until the teacher says they will collect the cards. Your last activity to study your vocabulary, this will bring us on to studying how to spell them. Again, I don't need to give you a worksheet to do the French and English of all of these. This is how we will study these today. 
you will play Lum Pandu. You will get one hangman sheep per person. You will get your assigned partner, which will be the person sitting beside you. The shortest person will choose a word from the purple leisure note sheets. It can be from any of the purple sheets. They will write down the appropriate amount of spaces that the word has letters. So if you have a seven letter word, you'll write down seven spaces. Make sure you count carefully. The other person will start by guessing one letter at a time. You should use your alphabet cheat sheet that we made earlier in the year. If a letter is guessed in English, that person should get a body part drawn on the hangman. For each incorrect guess, a part of the hangman is drawn. After the hangman is filled in, that person does not get the point. You're going to repeat the steps for the second person and so on. We have done this before. The directions are the same. The only thing that is different is the vocabulary. Each of you should complete four hangman words. That will help you to learn how to spell, whether you're asking or answering. You may clean up, put your vocab sheets back in your binder, and make sure everything is put away neatly and your desk look neat when the teacher tells you to. Next week we will have your test. It's a short week. You have had all of this week, all this weekend, and next week to study this vocabulary. You may go on Quizlet or study your vocab sheets. Have a good weekend and we'll see you on Monday.